हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑन द बेसिक थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज आईसी इंजन एंड इट्स परफॉर्मेंस ओके इन आईसी इंजन वी आर गोइंग ऑफ कोर्स देयर आर टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज आईसी इंजन एंड नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इट्स परफॉर्मेंस ओके इन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिगार्डिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द आईसी इंजन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द आईसी इंजन टर्मिनोलॉजीज ऑफ द आईसी इंजन वर्किंग ऑफ द आईसी इंजन and in next part we are going to deal with the some of the performance parameter of the ic engine like indicated power brake power thermal efficiency etc okay so let us start with this video now outline this is what we are going to study in the today's lecture introduction to the ic engine classification of the ic engine some of the terms related to ic engine and the working of the four stroke engine now introduction okay so where the study on the ic engine started it is somewhere around the 1876 a scientist or german engineer nicolas otto which first discovered the diesel engine and the rudolf diesel is the person who first studied regarding the diesel engine okay so basically what is engine or what engine does okay engine is nothing but it's a device i can say which takes the chemical energy okay converts it into the heat energy and that heat energy is used for the doing some mechanical work okay so there is some difference i have mentioned here between the ic engine and the ec engine ic is nothing but internal combustion engines ec means in external combustion engine okay so what are the basic difference between the these two engines the first will okay this is a very important point on and depending upon this only they are classified as the ic and ec engine that is fuel combustion takes place inside the cylinder which is in case of the ic engine whereas in ec engine it is takes place outside the cylinder okay so ic engine they are usually compact in size compared to that of the ec engine low initial cost high initial cost the working fluid in case of the ic engine we use a charge that is a mixture of air and fuel as a working fuel whereas in ic uh, sorry ec engine working fluid is a steam an example for ec engine also a steam engine okay more suitable for mobile application less suitable for the mobile application costly fuels are required yes, as you know that prices of the petrol and diesel or gasoline these are quite high compared to that of the coal okay so these are the basic difference between the ic engine and the ec engine fine let us move to the next classification of the ic engine see there are different parameters on which they are classified the different types of the ic engine so which are those parameters we are going to discuss now now first parameter is based upon the type of fuel used okay so which type of fuel is it may be a petrol it may be diesel it may be a gasoline or it may be biogas okay so depending upon that they are classified as a petrol engine diesel engine gas engine biofuel engine where two fuels of the engines are used nature of the thermodynamic cycle which cycle on which cycle that engine runs okay depending upon that they are classified auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle that is combination of auto and diesel is a dual cycle so based on sorry based on upon the number of stroke okay either four stroke engine or two stroke engine method of ignition okay as you know that in order to to take place a combustion okay ignition is very important correct so which type of ignition used in the engine depending upon that they are classified as a spark ignition where spark plug is used compression ignition engine where high pressure air is used method of cooling it is either air cooled or it is a water cooled engine speed of the engine of course low speed medium speed high speed low speed you can say two wheelers medium speed four wheelers very high speed you can see the aeroplanes and all 
नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर्स एज आपको सिंगल सिलेंडर एंड द मल्टी सिलेंडर इंजिन पोजिशन ऑफ द सिलेंडर हाउ ऑफ द पोजिशन इंजिन इज प्लेस्ड डिपेंडिंग कम ऑन दैट द इनलाइन इंजिन वेन यू प्लेस वन आफ्टर द अदर व्ही इंजिन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ व्ही रेडियल इंजिन अपोज सिलेंडर इंजिन एंड अपोज पिस्टन इंजिन दीज आर दी सम ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द आई सी इंजिन एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट सो वंस अगेन गो थ्रू इट now you can see the engine details okay so what are the parts of a one typical engine okay either it is a petrol or diesel engine the parts are shown here starting with the camshaft okay camshaft is the one which uh, operates the inlet on exhaust wall at the some proper time spark plug which is used for the producing the spark okay exhaust wall which is used to throw out the exhaust gases which are burn during the combustion cooling water of course is used to maintain the temperature piston which is we call as the heart of the engine which is reciprocating inside the cylinder crankcase connecting rod connecting rod is the a bridge between the piston and that of the crankshaft okay crankshaft is the part of the engine which converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion and combustion chamber of course where the combustion takes place intake valve from where the charge is entered into the cylinder okay so these are the some of the parts or basic parts of the uh, one typical engine okay so we'll go to the some of the engine terminologies okay so when we say the engine there are some of the terms you should understand okay which every engine possess okay like intake manifold cylinder head exhaust clearance volume stroke bore bottom dead center top dead center these are the some of the terms which you come across when you deal with the ic engines okay so we will discuss one by one bore the bore is nothing but it is related to the diameter so diameter of the what diameter of the engine cylinder okay so you can see here this is the a uh, bore diameter and this is the cylinder so diameter of the engine cylinder is called as the bore okay next stroke a stroke is nothing but it is the distance travel by the a piston that is when piston is move from the tdc to bdc or bdc to tdc or in short if the piston travel from one end to other end this is called as the stroke of the piston dead center now there are two dead center in case of the ic engine one is top dead center and one is the bottom dead center okay so what are these dead center now these are the extreme position we can say okay now when a piston is at extreme position at the top then we call as the top dead center when the piston is at the extreme position at the bottom then we call it as a, a bottom dead center so these are the two dead center which you come across in the ic engine okay next one a stroke volume or a, a swept volume it is the volume displaced by the piston when when the one stroke see here what is the swept volume is volume swept by the piston when the piston is moved from the this point to the this point during the one stroke then we call it as the a swept volume and how to calculate swept volume there is a formula v is equal to pi by 4 into d square l is the formula for the swept volume and what about the clearance volume it is the volume contained between the piston top and the cylinder head when the piston is at the top okay what is that this is piston head and this is the piston so 
वॉल्यूम बिटवीन दिस टू इज कॉल्ड एज दी क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम सी दिस इज अ सिलेंडर हेड एंड दिस इज अ पिस्टन ओके सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू और वॉल्यूम बिटवीन दिस टू वी कॉल एज अ क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर कॉम्प्रेशन रेशो आपको दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्प्रेशन रेशो इज वॉट इट इज अ रेशो ऑफ टोटल सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम नाउ वेन वी से अ टोटल सिलेंडर वॉल्यूम इन इट इज द सम ऑफ द स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम एंड द क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम टू द क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम सो इट इज अ बेसिकली अ रेशो करेक्ट सो वेन आई से अ टोटल वॉल्यूम इट इज अ स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम प्लस क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम सो यू टेक द रेशो ऑफ दिस इट बिकम्स द your compression ratio and remember that it is denoted by a small letter r in case of the petrol engine or <coughs> sorry in case of the petrol engine the value of the r which ranges between 6 to 10 and for the diesel engine the value is quite higher it is around the 14 to 20 okay Now we'll go to the a uh, four-stroke engine or working of the a uh, four-stroke engine. Okay, remember that in case of the four-stroke, why we call it the four-stroke because there is the four stroke which are going to takes place to complete the one complete cycle of the engine. So which are those strokes are first one is suction stroke, okay, second one is compression stroke, third one is the power stroke, and fourth one is the exhaust stroke. Okay. so we'll discuss one by one okay in first stroke what will happen is piston this is the piston it will move from the top dead center to the bottom dead center this is the position of the piston in the first case due to the movement of this piston a vacuum is created inside the cylinder and due to which this inlet valve will open and charge is introduced into the cylinder a charge is nothing but the a mixture of the air and fuel mixture fine this is the first stroke during the second stroke and remember that in first stroke inlet valve is open exhaust valve is closed second one is called as the compression stroke okay in second stroke what will happen the piston start moving from bottom dead center to top dead center and it will compress the charge which is introduced inside the cylinder at very high pressure okay third one is the power stroke okay in power stroke what happen a spark will <coughs> sorry spark will be produce the spark and it will ignite the mixture of air fuel which is present inside the cylinder due to which what will happen the gases will start burning and they will force this piston with the high pressure okay and that is the reason why the piston will start moving from the top dead center to bottom dead center and during this stroke both the valves that is inlet as well as the exhaust both are closed in the last stroke what will happen piston will start moving from bottom dead center to top dead center and whatever gases which are remaining inside the cylinder they are thrown out to the atmosphere from the exhaust valve and for the four stroke this wall is closed that is the intake wall is closed whereas exhaust wall is open and all gases will be thrown from this wall okay i hope it is clear so these are nothing but i have shown the position of the piston okay in the first stroke what will happen it will move downward correct second stroke what will happen it will move upward and compress the <coughs> mixture of air fuel in third stroke due to the burning of the gases what will happen the energy or heat will be produced and it will force the piston to move downwards and in the fourth stroke again piston will move upward and it will throw the exhaust gases to the atmosphere okay i hope this lecture on the four stroke engine is clear to you in next video we'll discuss about the two stroke engine okay thank you